How can this compact body camera protect you when you're doing food deliveries? Hi everyone, my name is Russ and welcome to my channel. On my channel I'll give you tips and techniques on how to improve your earnings for food delivery companies. So what's the big deal about having a body camera? Who cares? Why waste your time? What happens if a customer calls the food delivery company and says that you never gave them the food? Who do you think the food delivery company is going to believe? The customer or you? Isn't using your phone or a dash cam enough? Well, not necessarily. What's going to protect you all the way from the time you're leaving your car to that customer's door? Or in the rare example of even starting off going to the restaurant, the body cam can help you with this. For the last few weeks, I've been trying out this Boblov N9 model body camera, and it records in high definition. Battery life is about 10 hours. It's lasted me throughout the day doing several deliveries. Now keep in mind I'm turning it on about a minute before I start the delivery. That way I'm not forgetting to activate the body camera. And then I stop it soon after leaving the customer's house. So just letting it run a minute or two per delivery, it's lasted me well and I just charge it up every night. And you'll definitely want to do that. You don't want to have a dead body camera when you need it. Some of the features that I like about this camera is that it's easy to operate on the right side. There is a power button. And I know you won't necessarily be able to see this in the camera, but once the power comes on, I wait to see that the screen goes away. And then I just hit record, which is the button right above it and then it's activated and recording. I do attach, there's this shoulder mount right here, and what I use is the shoulder mount, and all I do is I'll grasp it, and then I'll just slide it over my belt into my pants, and when I do it on the waist, that way then it's less conspicuous to the customer, and they don't quite realize that they're being filmed. If I were to attach it here, or you know have a harness, then it's, it's plainly visible. And I like just to keep it on my waist. That way it's kind of out of sight, but it is recording. And it does accurately show me delivering the food. Another thing is you can always adjust the camera. There's a swivel here, so if it's on your belt, you can adjust the camera so it's pointing up or down as needed. And I find this has been very helpful, and it is reliable. So I use the shoulder mount that comes with it that uh, goes over like a backpack or a, a strap and instead I slide it over my belt. As I was researching the variety of body cameras that are out there, these are mostly all made in China and a lot of them have internal memory. The one thing I like about this camera on the bottom, it has a removable micro SD card so you can take it out. That can be helpful if you're doing a shift and you wanna swap out the memory chip and continue to get footage. The other cameras had internal memory, so you'd have to use a cable and then attach it to a computer or another device to get that audio and video. I have dropped this a couple times, of course, by accident because I wasn't making sure that the clip was secure on my belt. It hit the ground, but it continued working. I also scratched the front of the lens in the course of dropping it, but overall it's been very reliable and worked well for me. The one complaint that I have about it is, yes, it will play sound when you play it back on the camera, and it will play sound from your computer when you use VLC Media Player. The only thing that I don't appreciate is that the company has an audio codec that I can't use in my computer when video editing. So this is the only thing that keeps me from fully recommending it. That's too bad. I paid about $90 for this on Amazon, so for the value that you get out of the camera, excluding the audio playback if you're video editing, overall it's a good value. I know like GoPros and Osmos are far more expensive, and then the battery may not last as long, and you have to buy a mount to mount it. The video quality and audio quality is far superior on the more expensive cameras, but for an inexpensive body camera, this works quite well. The night vision works well on here. It's clicked on multiple times when I'm in my car and I've activated it and it's say pointing at my leg or something. 
I can hear the night vision come on. And then when doing deliveries, when it gets dark, you can instantly see it switch over to the night vision. So for roughly $90, this is a good product. I wish that the company would have used an audio codec that is more compatible with all devices, and especially for video editing. Because if you ever have to go back and use the body cam footage to prove that you did in fact make a delivery, it may be hard. You're gonna rely on that company knowing to use VLC or something with an audio codec that can play the audio. Overall, the HD quality of the video is good and it does show you approaching. You know, there's no video stabilization in here like on a GoPro. So yes, it'll shake all around as you're walking. But when you stop to take a picture um, using your phone, you know, I happen to like that timestamp camera app that Chad the Gig Economist showed me. So during that time, I'm snapping that photo as well as in the food delivery app, snapping the photo of the delivery. So this has plenty of time to clearly capture that I've placed the food there at their door. After this video, I'm gonna play several clips of me using this body camera so you can see the actual footage. I'll cut it off from when I'm approaching the house to finishing the delivery and then leaving. Obviously, there's no audio. I apologize for that. Again, the audio codec isn't compatible with uh, computers and video editing software. But at least you can see the quality of the video from the time that you're approaching, standing still, placing the food, and then leaving. I do thank you for your attention. Please let me know in the comments below what body camera do you use? I'm curious because I would like to find the right one that is not so expensive, but gets the job done. All right, take care and stay safe out there. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.